Yo everybody, welcome back to another one of our Pokemon episodes. So, to go through our team, we've got the Destroyer. Respect. Maya. James and Generator. Oh, and Generator and Eric. Um, I don't remember what we caught here, but we did catch something. So let's go through and see. We're probably going to have to battle most of these people, which isn't very fun. But it's going to probably take us most of this episode to get to the top of this tower. Okay. I'm not sure what... Oh my goodness, a Dragonite. Great. <laughs> He's hoping that the Destroyer can take whatever Dragonite has to offer. Level 30. 36, so the Destroyer's not too bad. I think we'll just go a uh, strong Psychic. While well, I'm going to mute my phone so that it doesn't ring really loudly. Okay, so it looks like if this continues, Dragonite's probably going to take out the Destroyer. So, they have three Pokemon and we can tell because of the three Pokeballs just over here. Let's go for a bit of a longer game in case she's got a... Oh no, 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 Dragon Rage. Oh my goodness. I got nervous, guys. I got nervous. <laughs> I don't know what level the Destroyer evolves at, but we really need the Destroyer to evolve. Um, we're going to potion up. We're going to hope for the best. Hope that he doesn't use another... Well, she doesn't use another Dragon Rage. Twister. We should be able to eat that up pretty well. Perfect. Can you go We're going to try and get a couple of Home Claws up so that it boosts our attack a couple of stages. Dragon Rage. This should do 40... Um, hit 40 hit points, perfect. So we know that worst case scenario, we can take another Dragon Rage. So we'll go one more. Um, one more Home Claws. Then we will try to uh, Big Potion up. And then we'll see how we're tra 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 traveling. Okay, so going to play the long game we can take another dragon rage then we'll survive on eight i'm thinking oh my goodness 39 we flinched so we didn't get that home claws up but now we're up to 44 i'm gonna go again guys we should live on four health points Just like my old friends, Mr. my old friend Mr. Burns says, excellent. <laughs> All right, now 100% we're going to heal up. Going to use another big potion. Boom. Now we should be at plus four attack. We can take... It'll take two more Dragon Rages to finish us off. So we should be able to get a couple of hits off. I'm going to try a Bullet Punch. Or well, Earthquake won't um, hit Dragonite because it's Dragon Flying. Oh my goodness. I can't even see that little bit of health that Dragonite lived on. No respect, Dragonite. Now here's where the Destroyer can take him out very quickly with the next bullet punch. But we're going to heal up because we don't know what's coming next. Hopefully the rest of the team is really easy and isn't going to cause us this much trouble. Slam. Perfect. Okay. I just realized I should probably go through the settings. I might turn off animation so the game runs a little bit quicker. Boom. Dragonite's out. 
to destroy it with a big experience jump. Okay, Charizard is next. I should probably have switched out if I'm being honest. We're at plus five. I'm going to try our luck. Oh my gosh, please don't. Please don't fail us, Destroyer. Oh no. Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage isn't the worst of it. All right, we're going to... No, 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 no. We're swapping out. We're going out to... Respect. Gonna teach this Charizard what happens. There's only one real Charizard, and that's our Charizard, Maya. Oh, ate it up. Gonna hit the biggest of scolds. And Charizard, you've got no respect. Sand Shrew, gonna leave in our big fella. Do you know what Sand Shrew has? Sand Shrew has no respect. Boom. K.O. Okay, so we're going to go down to our options. I'm gonna have a look. Let's change the text speed to fast, turn off the thing. And we'll see if this is, oh mate. Okay, I can't go that way. I'm gonna come this way. Oh, what else could we catch in here? Superior. From this generation, I love the um the first pokemon like the first in the su a superior line the pokemon called snivy but then when it gets up to superior it looks like it looks okay just a little bit weird i went from being this cool little like lizard like standing upright with you know two arms two legs then it evolves into this giant snake with no arms and no legs <laughs> boom obliterated okay we've got another hyper potion i'm going to try my hardest not to have to fight everyone here and i'm waiting to see to run into something to remind me what we caught here it was something where I didn't rush to go back and add it to our team, so I can't be the greatest of Pokemon. I'm going to just try and run from this Seer Mask. While we're going up the stairs, I'm going to try and put my glasses on, because I always forget to put my glasses on. Machoke. I don't think it was a Machoke that we added to our, that we caught. Or did we not catch something can't remember if I'm being honest I'd had no idea that you could bump into Pokemon on the steps I didn't know it wasn't a Flygon but we're going to run from this as well if I'm being honest with you Okay, so I went for a sand attack. Because the destroyer is... Oof, I'm going to gamble another one. I'm going to start playing a little bit dangerously with some of our team members. Because um, it just added a little bit more excitement. Uh, I don't think it's this bag. Where is the bag with our potions? No, I was really hoping to not bump into this person. <laughs> okay, what do they have? Done sparse, which is a normal type. Did we bump into another psychic type? Is that what our encounter was? Now, I know that everyone watching at home is going to be like, Oh, how can you not remember? Oh, 
going to go into a gigantic earthquake. And Dunspass, you're out of here. Dunspass, get out of here. The destroyer is at level 37. Oh, mate. Was it? No, I don't think it was a Lampent. Can I land the biggest of earthquakes? Boom, boom, boom. So we'll battle this person. I think we have to battle the nurse that's just next to those steps. And then she'll heal our team up. So we'll be in the clear. Kangaskhan. So far, that's the only Pokemon that's based on a kangaroo. That and some people say Breloom. Breloom is kind of like a um, like a grass kangaroo. Oh, okay. I wasn't paying attention. I hope it's not using Bide. No, it's using Rage, which is fine. The destroyer. Get them out of here. Miss Magius, which is a ghost type. Gonna send in our boy James. I thought we had a dark type move, but we don't. So I'm gonna going to go with an earthquake. Sorry, I'm just gonna check. Oh, not that one. How long have we been recording for? Twelve minutes. Oh no, Miss Magis has levitate. So ground type moves don't affect her. No, no, no. I really need to work on James's move set. Okay. Took out Psychic Mickey. Now I really need this nurse to heal our team up. But she wants to fight us first. Kabuto, which is a rock and water type Pokemon. Because it's based on a fossil and all fossil type Pokemon. Uh, I, ex until it get, came to the latest generation. Prior to that, from memory, they were all um, rock type. Rock and something else. So Aerodactyl was rock flying. Kabuto was... Kabuto and Omanite were both rock water. Um, and then from there, Archaeops was rock flying. Um... Uh, there was Rampardos, which was rock. I think it was just rock. Anyway, we're fight coming up a Vesper Queen. We're gonna go, going to go into our musical sensation. Teach this Vesper Queen what happens. So what do we need? All we need is Maya's flamethrower. Bye bye Vesper Queen. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys at home think that's as funny as I do, but I know I'm lame. I think it's hilarious. Okay, so she healed up our team. We're back to full health. I was happy to get past the first guy. <laughs> okay, who are we fighting? Ace Trainer Cassandra.
Leading off with the Giant Dialga. The Steel Dragon type. We've got to hope that the Destroyer's Earthquake brings the pain. Didn't do too bad. Good job, Destroyer. Ooh! Too good. We need a catchphrase for the Destroyer. We need, like, I don't know, something. Oh, what button did I press? No, I skipped over. Okay, we would have swapped out for Stami. So Stami is a water psychic. Gonna try our luck with a bullet punch and see if nope. Going to go out into generator. And generator is going to bring the power. Gonna land the biggest of Thunder Fangs. Go for Thunder Fang or Thunderbolt. I'm not sure. And anyway, bring in the Thunder. We flinched, mate. Let's go. Thunderbolt. Oh, no, we're confused. No, 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 no. Oh, mate. If the Destroyer didn't knock him out there, if Generator didn't knock him out there, he wouldn't have been in my good books. All right, we're not going to go back to the nurse. We'll just use a potion while we're here. Oh, we got a Raikou. So this is a roaming legendary, which means it might run from us. In the first turn. We get to throw one ball. Oh mate. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to. I have to look. I have to look. It's last time I didn't press the button. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. One. Oh. No respect, Raikou. Oh. I'm going to play another cheat rule. We're going to use the move Earthquake. Earthquake should knock out Raikou. If it doesn't, we're going to throw one more ball. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. You had your shot, Raikou. And I'm not looking forward to running all the way back down and trying to avoid all those trainers. <laughs> so she's telling us, you know, this is a very important place, blah, blah, blah. Ring the bell. So we ring the bell and it's meant to send out some healing waves in the Pokemon universe. Find it funny, this is a gigantic bell with, and it looks like there's a picture of a bell on the bell. So now we get to go to the gym and take on Skylar for our next gym badge. Mate, what's up here? A Golurk. Golep. Sorry, who evolves into a Golurk. Ground and Ghost type. We're going to be the running away type. <laughs> Oh, mate, two steps. Ah, this is a Cranidos, which evolves into Rampardos. Another one of the fossil Pokemon. I'm going to try our luck. Will a bullet punch take him out? Oh, the Destroyer strikes back. Mate. DJ Carlin, we got another one.
I think I might have to throw up. I don't think we caught a Roselia. I find it's, it's terrible that I cannot remember what we caught here. And I only recorded that episode yesterday. <laughs> it's not like I recorded it a week ago and I can't remember. I recorded it yesterday. Um, no. There's Max. Oh, no. No. Oh. There we go. Let's go. Oh, we can't even go this way. There's a chance this guy wants to fight. Look up. Yes, yes. I don't remember everyone that we skipped, but I definitely remember that we skipped him. While we're here, let's heal up just in case. Um, yeah, hectic. I'm very happy to not have to battle people. Cyndaquil, so we're fighting a fire type Pokemon. Drapion. Let's go into no, it's Bug Dark. I reckon we give Maya a run anyway. Maya can teach him how we do it. So I say it's bug duck, I would say it's poison duck. Oh, Maya. I'm not going to lie, I forgot to do the clap that time, so I hope all of you guys did the clap at home for me. And we are out of here. Boom. Did we catch anything in the tower? Now I'm... Oh, mate. So remember the lady on the other side caught us as well and made us battle. No respect. Oh, I love Mammoth Swine. I would love to have a Mammoth Swine on our team. Mammoth Swine is a, an ice and ground type Pokemon. And I thought that Earthquake would do a lot more, but it didn't. Let's swap out into... I think Respect. Respect isn't weak to any of his um, typings. So respect should be able to get us out of this. Boom! Mama Swine, you've got no respect. Zigzagoon. I don't know if anyone here knows Zigzagoon. It's one of the um, scariest Pokemon you can ever find in the game. We're going to have to send in the big hitter, Eric. We might lose Eric in this battle, guys. Jokes. Zigzagoon's actually like one of the weaker Pokemon in the game. <laughs> All right, we're going to go on big fire fang. Zigzagoon's level's pretty close to Eric's as well, so Eric's not overleveled. We might have a look at the uh, Pokemon in the gym and try and get our team to a similar level. Oh, whoops, I fell off. Um, I think we've still got our repel up, so we'll go this way so we don't fight another trainer.
Excellent. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's see what we have in our Pokemon box. Nope, wrong one. Nope, not that one. Mareep, was that it? Did we catch it? Oh, mate. We're not depositing. We need to go to move. Oh, Gardevoir. Was... Oh, wait. They're both in our death box. They're not. We can still use these two. If I'd left it in the wrong spot, how many people at home would be super triggered? Okay. So, looking at our team, do we need anyone to move? I think that, so, Generator and Eric are a strong tag team. Then we've got Maya and Respect are another strong team. The Destroyer is really good. He's doing us well so far. You know what? I should check. I'm going to pull my phone out and I'm going to check what level the Destroyer evolves at. I know I've looked at it in the past, but my memory isn't the best. Um, Meta grows. Sarah B. Black and white. It evolves at level 45. So we've still got a bit to evolve. Okay. Part of me really wants to try something new on the team. But maybe not just yet. We've also got our starter, Death Ripper, in the box here. You know what we'll do? We won't add him to the team just yet. But we'll evolve Andrew just so I can show you guys what Andrew looks like when he's evolved. Okay, so we're here. Dun, dun, dun. Bum 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 ba dum ba dum bum bum. All right, so our Mareep is evolving into a Flaffy. And I'm not sure what level Flaffy evolves into Ampharos, but we'll find out together. There we go. <laughs> what I find funny is none of these, this Pokemon specifically, all of the three different like um, stages don't look similar to each other. Like you can see a little bit in the head of um, Mareep and Ampharos, but they're all super different. So Andrew is going to learn Thunder Punch and we'll get rid of Charge. Boom. So we'll go back and get Generator. We're going to wrap up very soon. Before we wrap up, I'm probably... Oh, mate. No, we're going to move. We're going to have a quick look at the one person in the gym to see what their levels their Pokemon are at. And then we'll make sure that all of our teams are at, at an equivalent level. Now I'm going to go in and try and make our team a little bit like around very close to the level. We're not going to go very much over. 
I want to see how, you know, make it a bit, the game a little bit riskier. Let us run the chance of losing someone important. I say that now, then we're going to lose someone really cool and I'm going to be sad. So the way this gym works is we get into cannons and it shoots us into different areas. And with the lag, you can click, like see how badly the frame rate drops. Oh my goodness. First up, we've got a Giratina, the Ghost Dragon. Level 32, so our team is probably still a little bit over-leveled where we are. So we're not going to level up and meet everyone at their levels. Let's go for an Earthquake. Okay, so we ate that slash pretty well. Our Earthquake... Oh, mate, I was going to change moves, but it was lagging. How much does our Bullet Punch do? Much less. All right, so we took our Giratina. I probably should have bought some potions, but too late. We're in. It's on. A Crustle, which is a rock bug type. I think Maya can do it for us, although Maya is weak to the rock type, but she's super effective against the bug type. But we only need one thing. Does everyone know what that is? All we need is... Maya's flamethrower to take out Crustle, and he is out of here. All right, excellent. So we're not going to level up our team any more outside of battle, but we will save the game here. So thanks everyone for watching. Um, I hope you'll have a fantastic day. Uh, if you need any help with your classwork, let your teachers know, and I'll see you guys next time.